Uh, okay, break the internet. Mention me and tell it freeze. I'm coming back, so BRB pretending like I never leave. I gotta eat, that's what they mean by check the feed. Like the gram, tell a friend to tell a friend to check for me. Check the tweet, block it out. Going live is like a dream. You know they say you made it big if your face is on a meme. Welcome back to the channel here for some more modeling tutorials. Episode 3 here for Seta Corsa making your own car. So before we get really into in depth with everything on the inside of the car let's take a look at getting this car into the game and seeing where we're at right now so we have basic stuff done to it wheels and windows and stuff of that nature so let's get it into the game so the first thing we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to save this car so if you followed the previous episodes you guys know where we're at so we're gonna go to export we're gonna click on export Go back to the same folder that you were working on it and export over the FBX file of the M4. So we're going to click save. Yes, I want to replace it. Now when we get into all the defined stuff, the things that are very important to do, make sure your scaling is at 1 and make sure you're on FBX file format FBX 2014 and 2015. That's very important to be able to get it into a set of courses. There's a bunch of different options. 14 and 15 is what works for me and works in general. So we're going to click OK. We're going to let this export. And now that we have that exported, we're going to minimize that. So we're going to want to go pull out our SK editor files. So what you want to do is go into your computer, go into this PC, go into your drive, your program files, find Steam, find Steam apps, common, a set of Corsa. And when you get into a set of Corsa folder, what you want to do is go into SDK and in editor. So with that, you're in Steam, Steam Apps, Common, a set of course, SDK, SDK Editor. So once you're in SDK Editor, this right here, the KS Editor is what you want to open. I already have it over here on my desktop, but we'll open it from here anyways. So what's going to open up is the KS Editor, the public of KS. So once you have your KS Editor open, you want to go into File, you want to go Open FBX. And you're going to go back to your PC in your desktop into the folder that you've been saving it all into and pull in the M4 that you've already exported from 3ds Max. So it may take a minute depending on the car, depending on you know everything involved with the car. It may take a uh, few minutes. So now that we have the car pulled in, you use the arrow keys to move back, mouse key. Oh, I forgot we have the roll cage and everything up there. So before we do that, we should probably uh, remember that this stuff is up here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this, I'm going to delete those, and then I'm going to export the car without that deleted. Export to M4. Yes, I want to replace it. And make sure the sa everything is all the same. I totally forgot we had the cage and everything all up top. We're going to put that stuff in. Now I'm going to control Z because I want to bring that cage back. So, do the same thing. Open up your SDK editor. Good thing I looked up, otherwise we'd have a random cage and everything floating in the sky. Open FBX. Open up the M4 that you were saving. Which is going to bring up the M4 again. Like I said, it may take a minute, two minutes, depending on how long your computer or how fast your computer is. So then use the arrow key to back up. Rotate up. So there we go. We do have the M4. Now... The most important part is so our wheels are not really working correctly because we have to load the persistence of the other car because we did pull parts from that car. So we go over to file, go to load persistence, and you want to load the persistence of the car you took parts off of first. See, now the wheels actually came into play. The textures from those wheels and everything are there. Then you would go file, load persistence, and load in the persistence of the final car that you want to use. The main texture file is the last persistence you want to load. So if it's the M4, load the M4 last. I load the Evo first, and then the M4. It's very important, otherwise your textures could be all mixed up and all weird, and you import it in the game, and then it's all kinds of bad. So, once you have all of that done, you can go through, make sure... Everything is all transparent. Everything looks good. 
so everything does look good to me so we're gonna go file save can 5 can 5 car and then what we're gonna have to do is save it onto that folder for the car so an easy way to find out what car you pulled it off of would be to actually go into content manager real quick pull up content manager and then we're gonna go search M4 and we are putting it over the M4 GTS if you go down here and you click folder the name of this car is MSC BMW M4 GTS so that's the folder we're looking for and you can see it's in common it's a Corsa content and cars so we am going content manager so we want to go file save can 5 save the can 5 so I have a shortcut to my cars already here but in order to get to that you basically go the same way you found the KS editor just for sake of doing that we will go and do that we will go into our normal drive program file and we're gonna go to uh, Steam Steam apps common set of course uh, content cars and then we need to look for that GT4 which was MS BMW GT4 so then what you want to save it is over the can 5 that is in the folder so we're gonna save can 5 yes I want to replace it it's gonna do this and if everything is right you're not gonna get any error messages it does say the can 5 was saved correctly so this is done so we go back in the content manager and we can go update previews and it should pull up the preview like that with our wheels and everything on it we can go into the CM showroom and see we do have the wheels and everything on it now this and the windows are removed now to see exactly what it would look like in game because sometimes the things you go into the car parameters align by data now as you can see the data is a little bit off in the front and rear so we're slightly off so we're gonna have to adjust some of that so it works the car is in there so now we're gonna have to do some adjusting of the wheels and stuff because remember I said we have to do that so we want to click on folder we want to now if it has a data folder and not a data a data file but not a data folder you have to unpack it first so make sure you unpack the data so then you go into folder delete that data because now all the data is on here double click on data go into suspension pull up your suspension information and now we can pull up the car again so now this is all the suspension information there's different graphical offsets and stuff and it looks like our left front wheel is a little bit off so we're going to change this to three and then we're gonna save it and it goes in further so we're gonna put that back to two I think this might have to be positive too so we can get rid of the negative there we go so we wanted to get rid of the negative sign for the front and now we're back now we're out basically almost the same for this side I think right front if we put this negative it's gonna poke it out even more so we can save that so we do have a bit of a, a stretch on this tire that we did not fix so we'll have to go back in the model and fix that so but what we're gonna need to do is do some graphical change about because this is much wider so we can do a graphical change on the left rear wheel where we can do a negative two I believe pulls it in so negative five pulls it in even more so a negative five is close but not close enough so go here drop this negative seven that's probably where we want to be and then that one we're gonna have to adjust the right rear as well probably gonna want to put this at seven also was that too far in nope those are about even so the fronts are even other than the graphical poke left front probably needs to go out a little more probably gonna put that one at three okay so now we have the graphical set and then if you wanted to go in and adjust say your ride height 
it's under base we can get rid of that save that we can lower that if we can do 05 we'll drop it even lower and that is a slammed very far I don't think we can go that low it's probably gonna rub so we'll put this to a 7 bump that up a little bit and then we can go into the rear and I think we'll probably do the same drop in the rear zero seven there we go so now we have our m4 on our different wheels pretty much dropped to the ground so that's basically how to get it into the game so now you know how to get into the game so we're gonna do some reworking on this and bring it back into the game so and since I've already saved this suspension data, when we bring it back, it should all be in this same area. In theory, it should work that way. So now the M4 is sitting pretty on some wheels. We got to fix that uh, a little bit of tire stretch going on on that front. So we close this out. Close there. Close our consumenter. Bring our car back up. Do we have that? Is that poke seriously there? Oh, yeah. We didn't fix that tire poke. So we're going to adjust that tire poke. There we go. So now we don't have that tire poke. So we can uh, actually have the correct rim and tire combo. Let me make that nice and smooth. One back. There we go. All right. So now we're going to work with the seats and stuff that are up here. So we're gonna take these two bridge seats, drop it down there, and we're gonna to wanna to remove the seats that are actually in the car. Luckily, these are set by themselves, so we should be able to click on the seat, click delete. It has a back piece, we can delete that, delete all the plastic pieces, and I think that should be, yep, all the seat, and now we just have, oh, we have a faint little piping that we can delete there we go do the same thing for the passenger side seat and now we have a basically bare seats with just the cage so what I want to do is I want to add this part of the cage to it but I don't need this back hoop and stuff of that I just need the crossbars so we're gonna take this cage up here or we can just go here and click on this old blue isolate that part so now we have the cage to work with. We gotta delete some parts of the cage. So deleting parts of the cage, you click on modify and you click here and you can click on elements and then highlight those back tubes, delete the back tube. This will delete that whole back hoop and the crossbars. So now we have half a cage. So if we go back and unisolate it, we have half a cage now. We can take this cage and actually bring it down into the car and kind of try and match it up to the current cage that's in the car. Drop. Oh, no, don't want to do the door. So we use our little sliding tool, slide it down. If I slide this back into the cage. Those are, I think, way above the cage. So we may have to shrink those in a little bit. The door bars look pretty good, so we may have to pull those parts of the cage down which is not incredibly hard so we're going to highlight we're going to do control and highlight both pieces and we're going to isolate just the cage so this is what we're really working with so we are going to have to move some door bar pieces to get them to move in so if we click on here go back to edit and if we click on vertices or vertex vertices you can see we have some dots and stuff of that nature we can highlight just these dots and then we can move the roll cage over and actually get it to go into the current cage. I feel like we should bring that up and go inwards, bring it down. And now that cage is some, basically part of that cage now. So we're going to do the same thing for the other side. Pull these over and down. 
and there. So now those parts are pretty much joined in. We will make them the same texture as the cage. We'll do that in Content Manager. Now we have some other, those bars are pretty much in there. We gotta bring these bars up depending on if we can see it. So we're going to unisolate everything. There we go, we got some nice door bars and roof bars and that cage is pretty much floating behind the seat. So we're not gonna worry too much about that right now. But now, so we got that cage in, so we can take these brids now, drop these bright brid seats in there, back them up, pretty much kind of put them where the other seats were. And that should be quite okay. So now we got the seats and the cage and everything in there. We're going to export this car one more time. Going to export it into the M4 as well again. And we're going to follow the same steps. Make sure we're at a one scale. Make sure we're in 2014 15. Hit OK. Since we fixed that, we got the bride seats in there. Brid, bride, however you pronounce it. And we got a cage in there, which. We may have to make some modifications to the cage to get it to tuck a little bit tighter up on the crossbars and everything, but I'm going to show you basically what we do to change the cages as the same. So we're going to minimize that. We're going to go File. We're going to open up our KN5. We're going to go to our Desktop and then to our AC Mods. Open up the M4, which should uh, already have the M4 cage and everything that we just exported on there. So this will be the last importing we do for today's episode. We're going to back this up. We're going to slide around, take a look. Okay, everything's there. So we want to make sure we go file and load persistence of the Evo, which you see the cage lightened up, wheels lightened up, and then we're going to go load persistence of M4. Now we're going to save the KM5 once again back to that M4 desktop cars and we're gonna find I have so many cars there oh where was it there, M4 save in there yes save file we're all good go back into content manager we're gonna load that up real quick swap the cage to the same material update previews and we should be able to update everything into there we go, CM showroom. I always like to do align with data, there we go. So M4 looking pretty good, but now we got two different color cages. So this is where I was talking about, we gotta do some changing around. So we're gonna click here, we're gonna click on the cage that's currently in there. And the material is whatever the heck that says. So then we're gonna click on the cage that we have we're going to click material and we're going to click change value, change material, and we're going to find that same name that that cage is, which is the stop one, and click OK. So there you go. Now, both parts of my cage are the same material, same color, same texture, and the cage are pretty much all uniform. Like I said, we're going to have to do some more tweaking because it goes through the vents, which doesn't look half bad. Door bars don't look terrible in the car. So definitely happy with how this is turning out so far. We may have to stretch that out some and get it further up there so that we can get everything nice tucked up. So that'll do it here for this episode here on a set of course of modeling. And as always, I thank you guys for coming back and watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track. Uh, okay, break the internet. Mention me and tell it freeze. I'm coming back, so be or be pretending like I never leave. I gotta eat, that's what they mean by check the feed. Like the gram, tell a friend to tell a friend to check for me.